Hello and welcome to this wonderful presentation brought to you by Brightburn Infotech. Uh, we're talking about Business Central, one of the Microsoft products, and we want to look at the changes that they're going to implement in Wave 2 2022. Microsoft has implemented a change in the financial reports. It used to be called account schedules. Now they've introduced something called financial reports. Brief about my Brightpoint Infotech. We are a gold certified partner with over 15 years experience and our head office is in Fort Florida, Florida. We have implemented in various industries and our offices are all over the world, India, Africa, UAE, Canada, and USA. Ladies and gentlemen, let us go straight into these changes. We shall start with the limitations before. Microsoft has not, had not ex exposed the, the raw definitions on the global search, and they, that they had also not exposed the column definitions, which is something they've done now in the financial reporting. So this makes the financial reports easy to create and also easy to navigate through the system. With easy access to these reports, the users are definitely enjoying it. And they're definitely loving it. It's a good progress in the right direction. Let's go to the system. Today, after successfully logging into Business Central and my company is called Kronos, I'll definitely go to my global search and type financial reports. Those days it used to be account schedules. So I'll type my financial reports and it will come through. Those are the various account schedules we used to have, but now it's called financial reports. So at this point, I'll just definitely run through it a little, but I want to create a new one. So I'll click on new and I'll be definitely required to populate certain key information like the name. I'm using demo, and then I'm going to give demo financial report as the description. The description of this report is what will appear on your report when you definitely run the report. Of course, the raw definition, I want to create a new one because it's not there, so I'll say new, and I'll also be required to enter key figures, which is raw, demo raw, that's what I'm putting in. So I'm typing in demo raw. I'll go to edit and click on the, the three ellipses, the three ellipses, and then I'll go to an option called edit def raw definition. I'll click on that. This will give me how I will have to, which what I would want to put on my row. And of course, we have all those navigations more, and then we can definitely go to insert. We can insert accounts from the GL costs and all the cost budgets and all this. In this particular one, I'm interested in filtering accounts from the income statement only. That's why you see me putting a filter and saying okay. Then I come to the three ellipses next to the number again, and I will choose select more because I want to select everything at once. Otherwise, you would also go one by one, which will take you some bit of time. Then it gets inserted into that row definition we're creating. The beautiful thing about this is it's saving automatically. So as you can, I can scroll through, you can see on top it has already saved. Yeah. So when I get out of this, it's saved in my row definition that I've created. I'll say OK. And I'll go back to my financial reports. I need to create a definition. I'll also still create a new one and pop populate the key figures, the demo column. Yeah. Now on that, I'll still go to my ellipses, the three dots, and then uh, take the option of edit column layout. You can edit or copy. These options are all available. 
Then I will start working on my major column. Right now I want to write the column header, which to me it's net change. And I'll also proceed to create another column. I'll definitely call this balance to date. Or balance at date. Then I will put it. The third one is what I'll definitely want to see as my beginning balance or year to date. Either either way, either way, your column will still come. After that, I want to introduce also another formula. And here I'll call it the difference. And I'll come and say formula. And come to the part of the formula and say 2 minus 1. Two minus one. My column definition is saving and it's saved on top. All the rest of this information remains the same. Then I'll get out of this page. Then say OK to the column definition selection to get selected in my report. Ladies and gentlemen, immediately I can print this report by giving the filters of the date. I'm using this year's date. So I'll start this report at January. January 1st to the end of the year, which is December. Those are the dates I'm trying to populate. Then I'll preview straight away. My report is rendering and it opens. Of course, you remember we had written demo financial report, and that is what comes in the title of the report. And uh, the report has come out. The beauty of this report is you can design it and make it more beautiful as you would wish and introduce several things. And it will populate of picking the fields as by the system. Let me just scroll down and show you. So if it's a big report, it will render everything and all the figures will get exported. The next thing is that they have also maintained or increased on the way you can pull out these reports. You have PDF, XML, Word, Excel, and Excel. And you can schedule the report to run at the particular time you would want it to do. I'd like to thank so much Microsoft for this transformation. One key thing that they've introduced is exposing the row. So when you come to the global search and type row, you'll be able to have the row definitions, which means the row definition is no longer so much dependent on the financial report. You can use it anywhere else in any combination that you'd wish. The same goes to the column. You can use it in the same or a different report at whatever time, and you have time to change it, modify it, and go through. Now I'm just trying to show you a list of the column definition, including the one we created. Ladies and gentlemen, we like to thank you so much, and also appreciate Microsoft for continuously innovating and improving the system. Thank you, Brightpoint. Please subscribe to our channel. Bye.